Okay, so today we're going to do what we said we were going to do in terms of get this ready for a party. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut it with the rotary first, just to get rid of all that excess growth that we've got. Then we're going to go over it with the cylinder and create some really nice stripes. So let's crack on. So we'll just have a quick walk over and I'll tell you a bit about what's been happening over the last couple of weeks. So I turned up a couple of weeks ago and it hadn't been watered in a couple of days during a dry spell. Off, so Howard couldn't water. I turned up with my pump to go in the tank which we'd filled around the back. Just let me show you in here which we've got to plumb in. We've got the pipe there ready to go. And we've got a thousand litre tank. Howard had filled that but it's got a little bit of a leak out of the bottom of the pipe where it connects but he hadn't PTFE'd it. So Howard thought there was a thousand litres in there. I turned up there was about a hundred litres and the lawn looked like this. So you can imagine my horror knowing I had this event today and uh, I wasn't best pleased. So what I did was we had about, let's say about 100 litres in the tank. So I got my pump out and watered the lawn heavily. Nothing else, no products, just water at this point just to rescue it. Then I came again a couple of days later and we went on with some Sopro because that's great for the stress, uh, especially drought stress. Uh, and then once that had recovered, I then went on with some Equinox HD which is explaining this like really good colour that we've got with light, nice uh, nice growth. And then just the other day, I went on with some Galactic Green in Reddit for this event today. So, let's uh, crack on with that rotary cut. So what I'll do is, as always, go on with number three first, I think, because we don't want to take too much off. It's been uh, three days since the last day. I was supposed to be here yesterday but the rain was uh, so heavy that I just called it a day and I said I'll come today instead. Um, and then we'll go on with the cylinder and uh, let's get these double strikes looking smart and uh, see how it looks. Okay, so I've just done that with the rotary. Looks fine. Some of you may say, why are you bothering? What's the problem with that? I'm going to show you now the difference between a rotary and a cylinder cut. Because you can just see, it's just not as defined as you'd like. And you'll see in a sec when I compare the two pictures as to what you get out of the cylinder cut that you don't get out of the rotary cut. But if all you've got is a rotary mower and this is what you can do, then who am I to say it's not good enough? But I just like to, uh, because I can, because I've got the machinery, just get it down a bit more. It's still quite long, if you see. So if we uh, have a closer look, you see it's still quite quite a bit of growth. So we want to get rid of like probably half of this new growth, and then we'll be where I want to be. So we'll just set you back up and get the uh, cylinder out, and then I'll compare the two cuts, and then you'll know exactly the difference between the cylinder and a rotary cut. Just all about that extra definition and that crispness of stripe. So we can see the difference now. With the hater, um, as much as it's a great mower, obviously it's seven, six, five, four, three, two, one in settings. So if you want five and a half, you can't. So the cylinder gives us that um, versatility to go down in mi micro increments to whatever we want. And with the cylinder as well, we're cutting like a scissor. So we're cutting all these blades at 90 degrees. So we're gonna get that fineness of sward as well. So I hope you can just see the difference between the two. If I just put a picture up as before, and how it looks now, you'll see that, that cylinder has just tightened up the sward and got rid of that extra length that we had. So that's what the difference is between the two mowers. So now I'm just going to go opposite direction with the mower to get those tightened stripes. Oh, 
Okie dokie, so spot on with those stripes, looking very crisp. Sun keeps going in and out, so I can't get a decent picture, so we'll just uh, have a walk on. And you'll see, it's looking beautiful, we've got really close now. You can see how nice and tight that sword is. Looking very nice. This is the best angle I think today, let's have a walk around anyway. And show you all the garden, with the flowers that we planted was six weeks ago. Or is it four weeks ago maybe? Probably four weeks ago. All come through lovely just for the event. They seem to struggle as we get further down this way. I don't know why. I think it's because they're not in the, the sun as much. But this year they are doing better than last year. This area was uh, not very good last year. But on the whole, very good. Oh, is this the best angle actually? Oh, yes. Beautiful. Look how green that is. Yeah. So, it just goes to show... If you just dedicate yourself to your lawn, what you can achieve. I've not done anything you can't do here. With the really bad conditions as well. That corner, never in the sun really. It very, gets very wet as well, but it's still looking smart. Yes, probably could have done better lines maybe, but the nap was so strong on those left to right ones, it just threw me out. So that explains that. Even that bit where we dug out the other week, where we had the urine stain from the dog. I think that's it there. Kind of, you can see that there. And then we filled it in over here. And you can see there, oh, you can just see my shadow, but you can see there, it's just coming through. Still a bit of a different color because it's not had the same treatments as this existing lawn as yet. But as soon as we put that next batch on, it'll, it'll blend in nicely. Only trouble is at the moment with this area of the lawn, when they did this bar area, they took the level of the lawn from the middle, uh, not from this edge, and the actual height is out, so the lawn dips there, so you can see along the edge, we've got a bit of a lip, so we're going to have to raise this up, which means I can't turn on the patio, so I have to do all my turning on the lawn, so it means it just messes up a little bit and especially because i put the uh, galactic on it um the iron content it does just kind of bruise it a bit easier than it would do normally so one of the negatives of iron but i think the positives far it were those negatives so just have a look at that yeah just probably come at the wrong time i think the best angles for this lawn is in the late afternoon especially from this part but i'm just here i can only come when i can come so yeah, so what I'm going to do now, it's just looking a bit messy along that edge and all the way around. So I'm going to get the strimmer out and trim those up nicely. You know, the difference between a good job and a great job is getting that strimmer out and getting all those edges nice and straight. Something Matthew Rigby uh, needs to learn because he uh, let himself down very badly by posting a picture of a great lawn. Probably the best colour I've ever seen in, on like a, my Facebook group anyway. But yeah, he failed to strim. Um, all on the uh, wall there, so naughty boy. Okay, so that's how you prepare for a party or an event. Time for me to have a hard uh, coffee. All we're doing here now is cutting, cutting, cutting. There's nothing else to do. We've fed, we've put galactic green on. We're just waiting now for that nice warm weather to come where we can really tighten up that sword. So next time you see me, we'll be doing something else, lawn related. But until then, take care and we'll see you soon.